Hi, and welcome to another view of the Wheel of the Year from, from my window. This is, I'm actually outside at the moment because I wanted to show you the dandelion seed head here. And uh, the other dandelions here are waiting for the morning to warm up a little bit before they open. But here we are at Beltane on a glorious morning. Can't really see the sun, it's clouding over a little bit there. But just look at the oak. Look at our beautiful oak. I said it would be in leaf by Beltane. Let's go across and have a, a look at the oak leaves. And they're absolutely glorious in this morning light. My beautiful, beautiful tree. I was at my bedroom window earlier watching all the squirrels run around and branch to branch all along the trees down this, uh, this little bit of hedgerow here. And of course, Beltane morning. What we expect to see on the on the ground are the bluebells. Now there are only one bluebell here. Uh, we were out on Wednesday and driving down a country road the, the sides of the road were absolutely coated in bluebells weren't they? Yeah. But where we are we just have this one I've got no idea how it arrived but here it is every year on Beltane showing us that that summer's here. Of course, as, as pagans, we celebrate Beltane as the beginning of summer. And for anybody who doesn't uh, know about the, um, the pagan festivals, we, we have um, eight a year, the main ones being the solstices and the equinoxes, and then there are four cross quarter, Beltane being one of them. That's the last of the, well, the daffodils are finished now for the year. Basically, about every six weeks, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And Beltane is always a favourite because it's uh, it's usually good weather. I've usually managed to get sunburned on Beltane. I was just walking through to see all these lovely dandelions out in our little space out here. Although the ground's still quite wet underneath. It's a bit yucky, but bit I'm yucky. just trying. I'm holding on to Neil so I don't slip and fall over. Oh, that was a little slip. I don't know if you caught that on the camera. But later on in the day, all these dandelions will be looking lovely. Yeah, and then this is our apple tree. It's too early for anything to be seen on that happening quite yet. But Beltane's also very, um, has two significant meanings for me. The first one is because I was born at Imolk, that means you're conceived at Beltane. So I'm uh, about 66 years in existence now. Yes. Of course, I don't know exactly the date, <laughs> but it's around about Beltane, 1957 it must have been. But also and then. Yeah, Neil? I was going to say also uh, Beltane, um, with the Pagan Wheel of the Year and the idea of, uh, of stages of life and life and birth, death, rebirth. This is the time of uh, coupling and people coming together in marriage. Absolutely. And just such a marriage happened um we were working it out earlier weren't we is it 24 years ago now yeah 24 23 24 it was last century last anyway century. <laughs> 1999 anyway, um yeah neil and i were actually hand-fasted at beltane um over and over and over, weren't we? We'd yeah. gone to, we'd been asked to run a ritual um, for a friend of ours and her group down in Kent. And as part of that ritual, we actually invited people to witness our hand fasting. Yeah. 
Which was wonderful, wasn't it? It was huge it cheers was. and... Yep. And that involves jumping. Did we actually jump the? Uh, uh, yeah, I think in those days bonfire. we did jump the bonfire, it's, it's, it's which is traditional for to have a Beltane for fire. Beltane fire. Um, and then the following day we went to another open ritual. I'm just coming here to look at the elder. Look, this will be in flower by summer solstice. Just see the beginnings there. That was down in Lansing. Yeah, we went down to Lansing for a Lansing Ring, a Beltane celebration, and we happened to mention that we'd been hand fasted the day before, and then all of a sudden we were selected to be <laughs> to enact the God and Goddess, and so they separated us and took me off, and I was all garlanded with flowers and made to look all pretty and beautiful. These are cleaves. These are young cleaves that are just coming up. And the reason we say that is because these It's are... because Neil was taken off by the guys. <laughs> and stuck with... Yeah, these are My... <laughs> sticky leaved, yeah. these cleaves. I don't know if you can actually see them properly there, but... And Neil was absolutely coated with these cleavers. So we always know cleavers around the <laughs> Yeah, so we were had our second ceremony that day and then the following day was the 1st of May. Um, we went off to the Jack in the Green, didn't we? Went to the Jack in the Green in Hastings. Festival in Hastings and we bumped into Grey Wolf, the druid down there and I had known him because I'd um, ferried him to and from stations for a, a talk that he was giving some months before and he did us a, a wonderful druidic blessing for our hand fasting and so we were kind of triple hand fasted triple weren't hand we fasting, can't yeah. get rid of him now <laughs> <laughs> yeah neil's pointing out I mean, he's whispering there's a lovely one there's a lovely one he, yeah, wants, but, he wants me really to show you this full. beautiful seed head on the dandelion yeah it's so full-headed some of the others a lot of the seeds have already gone but that one's a full-headed I and mean, when i was a little we used to call these wet beds because it was supposed to be if you picked them then you'd wet the bed but i never did and i still yeah, pick them and we all picked them because we'd tell the time with them we'd blow them and depending on how many blows it took to blow all the seeds off, it was the, yeah. it's like one o'clock, another blow, two o'clock, that sort of thing. I'm not sure, but I think it's to do with the, when you pick the stem, it gets a white residue. Yeah, and it's, to it's do a that. white liquid, isn't but there? But actually, I've also heard of that being used for putting on warts and getting warts to go on. And they say there's no part of the dandelion that you can't eat. You know, the roots are very good for you, the leaves you can use in salads. I was looking to see if any of the um, brambles are starting yet. Well, you've got the, got the blackberries. You've got the fresh shoots of the blackberries. Are there. You see those green, really nice fresh shoots. So that's that's your this year's growth coming in. But blackberries are more lamas, aren't they? We'll come down yeah, again yeah. on the next festivals. Just giving you a little walk up and down our hedgerow to show you how things are, are changing as the year moves on. Uh, don't often stop at this tree, but it's a lovely, what I would call a witching tree for no reason other than it's old and, and a bit straggly. Well, I think it's Hawthorne. If you have a look here. Be better at this, but you see, you've actually got a fawns on there. You see that by my finger there? You've got a fawn, so it's definitely a fawn. I think it's hawthorn. I, I don't think it's not blackthorn. I believe I could be wrong. If anyone knows in the comments, uh, by looking at the leaves, I think it's hawthorn. Don't think blackthorn looks different. Uh, 
black form would give the uh, is is the slow. You, you get slows. Um, but, but we've never had slows on that one, so I think that's four form. Right now my arm was aching, and I've swapped arms over. Now I can't see what I'm filming, but. That's some buds of something, isn't it? Hang on, I'm going to have to yeah. swap back so I can aim the camera better. Well, you've got all these little forty series, like just one thing, you've got these forms? Yeah. Well, we'll know more when the flowers come out, won't yeah. we? Well, you should be able to As we've said before, we are such phase <laughs> as pagans at nature identification. <laughs> Yeah, because that was a bit, that's a guess rather than a, this is, is what it is coming. Um, Everything is just about to burst into. Now, you might not recognise those fruit. leaves that, that Jan's actually showing you, but that is actually holly. Um, but it's if you look further down, you'll see you've got the more prickled holly leaf. Um, but up here, you'll notice that this leaf has no forms. And so it's, uh, it's because quite... Because it's out of reach of animals, so yeah. it doesn't need to protect itself. But look at all those berries about to start. But it does, to start. for somebody who wouldn't be um, familiar with seeing the leaf without the prickly bits, it's... Uh, I think they're the remnants of last year's blackberries, yeah. aren't they? All dry. But you've got a lovely bit of this year's um, but Yeah, a lovely sprouting. fresh growth yeah. for later on. So, as I say, blackberries will be lammers time. Because uh, the next festival is the summer solstice. And summer solstice, we we'll, won't see them here because we haven't got any, but there'll be poppies. Yes fields of poppies um elderflower will be out so we'll have the elder by the uh, by the oak here and i hope that you can hear some of the beautiful bird song but you'll also hear the roar of the traffic yeah we've got a quite a main road near to us but we've also got the motorway is what a mile and a half away and that sound Probably, travels yeah. to us yeah and also this morning i was hearing the trains we've got uh, the actually i can hear a train now the railway is about half a mile away isn't it so yeah. and then of course we're right next to gatwick airport so we've got planes overhead so we never ever get silence here there's always something to remind us that we're in the midst of modern life I've got my crocs on and the the, uh, the moisture from the grass has permeated through and I've got wet feet wet feet now so you've got your elder this is your elder well yeah I was yeah. showing that earlier and it's a shame it used to be a much bigger tree bush tree thing but it got hacked down some time ago didn't it although if we go down that way uh -huh. round the the last house in the terrace at the back of the last house in the terrace is an elder tree mm -hmm. so we'll perhaps go down there at summer solstice got the other oats there and the morning sun just behind the tree oh there's more bluebell down there I've never spied that one before because our woodlands are absolutely full of bluebells at the moment. We're about to take Echo out later for her bluebell photos. I've got a thing about, I do like to photograph dogs in bluebells. And... A one there. There, there. Oh, we've got some red berries on the holly.
some bluebell and dandelion. And then there's another bluebell just there. But that's our, our hedgerow for, for Beltane. And it's quite odd that I always think of this oak as my oak, but I also have this oak. <laughs> and we just, uh, we just, the house is just behind this path. But how lucky am I to have all this in the middle of a modern housing estate built in the, uh, in the mid seventies. And that area down there, the walled off area, used to be a children's play area, but it was, it was lethal. It was done, um, lots of climbing frames on concrete and they fell into disrepair and eventually they were all taken out and, and it grassed over. So now we have this uh, nice little walled area yeah. that we occasionally go out and sit in and use. And, Put up tents when we need to test if they're or okay. Or even a marquee if we need to yeah. to put one up to see if it uh, if it's got all its bits. But anyway, Bertain greetings. Blessed be. Blessed Bye. Be.